Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com. How are you folks? I know it's been a while since I put out a few of my videos, guys, and I do apologize for that. Uh, we are just super busy here at the shop. We always got stuff going on, projects to do and things. And uh, and not only that, I started another YouTube channel called Valone's RC Hobby. So that's been taking up a lot of my time as well. I try to do that on the weekends. But yeah, I do apologize, guys. So... Um, I figured I'd get a couple videos off for you today. I missed the 19, uh, uh, COVID-19 coronavirus 2020. I hope you guys are all safe out there. Be healthy, be safe, be smart. And uh, I'm pretty sure this thing will blow over and uh, we'll be all back to normal. So, uh, but uh, I got a, this is a shout out to uh, Scott Magyar who sent me a, uh, a comment in my YouTube channel about the quick roof and the peel and seal. And if I am still using it today, and where can we get it? All right, so guys, I put a video out many, many years ago, probably a good 10 or 13 years ago, 10, 12 years ago, something like that, on uh, Quick Roof. And I got this stuff at uh, Home Depot at the time. Uh, now it's not Quick Roof at Home Depot, it's some other brand. Uh, still does pretty much similar uh, insulation. Uh, but now you can get this peel and seal, and I get this from Lowe's, and you can find it down there, roofing section. If you can't find it at Lowe's, you can do a Google search, and you can find it there as well. I use this for sound deadening, so I use it in uh, the rear luggage compartment. So let's come over here. Boop -ba -doo. This is jo uh, Joe's 1956 Strato Silver Build a Bug project that we are working on, and actually yesterday we were doing the quick roof. Let's come inside here. See, I put it in the doors, doors, rear door panels, rear luggage compartment. And I still use this stuff and it works absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it really deadens the sound. You know, everyone knows a Beetle is pretty loud because the engine is behind this panel here. Uh, so you get a lot of noise back there. Uh, by factory, there was some sort of an insulation in the 50s. Uh, they had, it was kind of like a a jute or like a fibrous material that really brittled apart if you ever get under there. Um, later on, they went to a different uh, kind of material. Uh, but I do not put it in the roof. I don't put it on the, uh, the pillars or anything like that. I have never tested it upside down. Uh, I just don't know. It might work. I just don't know. I'd rather use more of a felt padding in the roof area like they had back in factory days. So uh, this is where I use my quick roof. Now, if you want to use it on your floor pans, go right ahead. You want to use it on your front firewall section underneath the dashboard, go right ahead. Uh, just quiets the ride even more. So yes, in 2020, I am still using this stuff. It is remarkable. I have used the more expensive stuff like Dynamat. And I'll be honest, guys, um, I've done a sound test before and it really is about the same. Uh, and for the fraction of the price, I mean, I, I think you could still pick these up for about 16 or 17 bucks. Uh, if you buy it online, maybe you can get a little bit cheaper, but I haven't seen it much cheaper and you will have to factor in shipping with that. Uh, so peel and seal. It's the same company that makes the quick roof. It's Cofair. And uh, if anybody wants a roll, uh, I know in, some people watching this video are in other parts of the world and they do not they don't have access to say a Home Depot or a Lowe's or they're miles away from a uh, hardware store or something like that. Give me a shout in the comment section below or pop me a personal email. Um, just go to my about me section here on my YouTube channel. Pop me an email or go to my website and uh, maybe we can set up a deal here where I can uh, I can get some rolls for you and I can send them out to you if you need. Now, the other areas where um, people are asking me about uh, the door post, uh, felt material, the um, over the rear pillar areas, back window areas where I pad up uh, my beetles before I put my headliner in. You know, my old video I showed I can get a whole roll of this felt material from, I used to get it from Lowe's and Home Depot and it was in a huge roll and maybe it stood up about, you know, I don't know, three or four feet high and uh, I used to get this stuff. And it's, you know, it's thin, maybe an eighth of an inch or so. But uh, 
Really good stuff. I used to get them in rolls, like I said, from the hardware store, and I can't anymore. And people have been asking me, you know, where do you get the felt material? So what this is, this is about a 72 by 80 inch uh, blanket. So if you look up textile blanket, moving blanket, uh, you'll find this. Unfortunately, most of the sites where I see this for sale, they carry them in bulk. So maybe you got to order six or 12 or 24. Um, you might be able to find and dig a little bit more online where you can buy just one pad. That's all you really need to pad up your beetle, the roof of your beetle, uh, before you put your headliner in. You do not need so many uh, textile blankets. So again, if I buy these in bulk, guys, because I do, I work on many beetles. So if you need a textile blanket, if anybody wants this to pad up their roof, uh, give me a holler and I will, uh, I can ship one out to you um, because I buy these in bulk. So, and they're clean and you just cut them and, you know, I, what I usually, I have a template uh, to cut pieces for my roof, but you don't necessarily need a template. You could just kind of line it up to your roof and just start cutting. Uh, use a nice razor and uh, you're good to go. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. I mean, peel and seal, guys, I still use it. After all these years, I still use it. Um, it's pretty remarkable. It's cheap. I do not get a smell. People ask me that as well. There is no smell. Um, and what I do is once I put the peel and seal down, like you saw in the 56 Beetle, I then put another layer on top of that. All right. So here is a carpet pad kit that you can buy from either CIP1.com or Wolfsburg West. They sell this three-piece kit. Now, this is over the wheel humps, okay? And it's like a jute. It's like a, you know, I guess a felty carpet pad. And it comes in like two pieces. But what I find is um, two pieces together, right? It's a three-piece kit. So you have the two sections over the wheel humps, and then you have the center section. It's the center square section below the back window. Uh, but when it comes as this three-piece kit, it's sandwiched like this, and it's it's stuck together. And they want you to pad this whole piece, and they expect you to glue this down. I actually don't do that. And since I do work on a lot of bugs, I don't, you know, I, I, can, I can do this sort of thing. So I separate the pad, and then I use one on the left and one on the right. And even for the center section, the center square section, I split that apart as well. Now, for someone like you working on, a, a, on the Beetle at home, in your garage, now you got to have some extra pieces. You want to give them to somebody, whatever. Um, so I then use the other uh, halves for maybe another Beetle. The center section, you could then use for the roof. I would split that material and then use that square section that normally goes back here in the luggage compartment on top of the quick roof, I then use it in this square section of the roof. So you get a lot for that. And when you buy that carpet pad kit that normally goes in the back, I just split the material, but it's just too thick. I've done it, I've used it before when the pieces are together and I put carpet then on top of that, it's just too thick and gets too lumpy. So I split that material up and then I put the carpet on top of that jute pad. So there you have it, guys. Uh, peel and seal. I still use it. It does not smell. It deadens the sound. After I put the peel and seal down, I put this padding down on top. And again, I split it because it's just too thick for carpet. Then put the carpet on top. And I use that 3M adhesive glue, the 90, uh, the 90 weight uh, or 90 uh, strength uh, spray. And uh, it sprays. It holds down real, real good. It's in the green can that you can get from Home Depot. Or lows, whichever. Um, and then again, up in the other areas of the headliner, the pillars, doorpost areas, that sort of thing, I use this thinner material. If anybody wants any of this stuff, this textile blanket, without buying, of course, in bulk, I can ship one out to you. Uh, if anybody needs peel and seal or quick roof, let me know. I can ship them out to you. Uh, just leave me a comment uh, below or just pop me an email. So I hope this video helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, please email me, chris at classicbwbugs.com 
or pop me a uh, comment in the comment section below. Uh, please look in the description below the video for some more information. And uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I try to bring you guys videos each and every week on tips on how to restore your vintage Volkswagen Beetle and keep these Beetles alive on the road. And of course, for the price of a cup of coffee, you can send us a small donation uh, through my PayPal link below this video. And it keeps feeding these videos. It keeps the vintage VW scene alive. And I miss this kind of crisis that we have going on right now in 2020 with the corona um what a way to stay home and work on your beetle why not now we have time there's no excuses anymore guys <laughs> be happy be healthy and i will see you next time uh -huh.